Welcome back to Q Dads. Amazon Prime's Good Omens has just dropped its second season based on Terry Pratchett's version of creation. The show sees the return of Michael Sheen and David Tennant, who play two angels, Aziraphale and Crowley. It's been a long time since season one dropped, and that was back in 2019, pre-COVID, so the second season has been long awaited. This show is a must watch. Great humour, enjoyable visuals, and an overall fantastic biblical illusion. More on this as we dive deep into episode one. We start the show before the beginning, as the title card reads, as Crowley is starting the engine to the creation of the universe and witnesses it all with Aziraphale. This is great to see Crowley before he became a fallen angel and went rogue from both heaven and hell. As the universe forms and the colour bursts all around, it's nice to see the pillars of creation, a genuine nebula, fitting for this scene too. We cut back to present day, which is revealed to have dealt with the modern day problems that we had, such as COVID. Here, Aziraphale kindly clears eight months of debt for a single record, which shows his over-angelic nature and support for humanity. Our modern day Crowley sits on a bench and is visited by Shax, a new hell representative for London. And he can't help but shout some friendly advice about the feeding habits of ducks. Don't give them bread, you idiot! Ducks shouldn't eat bread. That's what you feed ducks, frozen peas. Before we are even given the chance of deliberating what is the bad that's happening in the up, we are graced with the Archangel Gabriel, but this time naked and wandering the streets of London with no memory of anything. Xerophel takes him in and seeks Crowley for some help. The two argue about what to do. They decide to hide him and conceal his identity through the use of a miracle. They unfortunately attract the attention of heaven and three angels, Archangel Michael, Uriel and Saraquel, who decide to hunt for what caused this miracle. We see the return of Beelzebub, but this time played by Shelley Conn, which David Tennant even points out about her having a new face. Is that a new face? Well, this old thing. (laughs) I've had it for ages. She informs him that if he helps find Gabriel, that he can have anything he wants, which is a tempting deal for a demon. She also informs us that anyone who is caught with aiding or abetting the concealing of the Archangel is to be punished by extreme sanction. This punishment is to be removed from the book of life itself and to have never have existed. Just as the episode comes to an end, Crowley is forced to do a sorry dance and Aziraphale reminds us of the times that he's had to complete one himself. I did the I was wrong dance in 1650, in 1793, 1941. Fine! 1650 being the third English civil war with the Battle of Dunbar, 1793 being the French Revolution, and 1941 was a reference to Pearl Harbour. I do love these subtle references to key points in history, but I do wonder if we're going to get more flashbacks to see how Aziraphale and Crowley affected these key milestones. Overall, the episode was fun. And reminded me of why I enjoyed the first season so much. It's littered with historical and biblical references and different takes on key points. That makes this show such a great watch. The acting choices are brilliant as well. With Michael Sheen and David Tennant making such a great duo that are relevant of the genre. This is absolutely a show you must watch. I'm going to give this a solid 8 out of 10 for this one and highly recommend it. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on this show and Terry Pratchett's version of creation and religious ideology. Eccles cake? Yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, and let's catch you next time with something new.